So do you know that an old woman who literally died before her case got to the Supreme Court is one of the main reasons that we have the right to anonymous speech? Anonymous speech has always been around. Like when the founding fathers wrote anonymously, so that way they could talk badly about the king without being charged with treason. The NAACP keeping their 1950s Alabama donor list secret so that way their donors wouldn't be harassed. And people writing whatever they want online. But in 1988, Margaret McIntyre was handing out anonymous flyers outside of the school that opposed a proposed school tax that was being voted on. Weirdly enough, despite the fact that the proposal passed, a school official narked on her to the Ohio Elections Commission five months later. Which, yeah, of course this takes place in Ohio. Anyway, they found that she violated a law that required you to disclose your identity if you were handing out campaign literature. And they charged the poor woman $100. Naturally, she appealed and the trial court reversed the fine, but then the Ohio Court of Appeals unreversed the fine, deciding that they would pry this $100 from this woman's cold, dead hands. Probably unrelated, McIntyre did die shortly after, but not in vain. The Supreme Court heard her case, and in a 7-2 decision, they decided that the First Amendment does protect a speaker's right to anonymity. They stated that anonymous speech is important because it provides a way for writers to speak freely without fear of retribution, persecution, or even just a way to focus on the message itself. 